Hi everybody, I am Husky Light. Thank you for stopping by. Namaste. Right, I've done, I'm redoing some videos that I did when I uh, first started the YouTube channel. So I think they need updating now. Um, and obviously I have new subscribers and, and new people coming through to the, the channel. Um, so it helps them a lot as well. Overall symptoms of ascension, overall symptoms of Kundalini, uh, awakening within you and what you can go through. I will do separate videos on each separate chakra because each chakra that awakens, you have separate symptoms. But sometimes as you go through the ascension process as well, as the chakras have opened and you're raising up in consciousness, you can have like overall symptoms as well. Um, so that's what I want to just quickly go through um, today and see if you're having any of these symptoms, experience any of these symptoms and know that it's nothing to worry about, that it's quite natural, um, that it happens throughout the awakening process um, and everybody has a different, um, a different account, a different experience of what happens during Kundalini um, is awakened. Um, now Kundalini, I've done a separate video on this, uh, which I will put the link to at the end so you can find out exactly what a Kundalini awakening is. But basically, it's the coiled snake which is, rises from the base of your spine up from your Muladhara uh, chakra through to the central um, nadi, uh, which is the Shihuma, <laughs> Shihumya. <laughs> inside or alongside the spine and reaching the top of your head, your crown chakra. And the process or the progress of Kundalini through the different chakras leads to different levels of awakening. Um, go through it slowly or you go through it quickly, depending on what your contract is. <clears throat> it's a very mystical experience. Sometimes it's very painful. Um, sometimes it thinks you, you think you can go, you're going crazy, but it's, it's, not something you need to go to the doctors about. This is one of the greatest gifts that you can actually be given um, within this lifetime. And usually if you go through a Kundalini uh, awakening in this lifetime, if you become awake and aware, you're not coming back again. You're not gonna have to, uh, unless you choose to do so, unless you specifically say, I want to come back down here, you're gonna go straight back home to whichever planet, whichever uh, star system you came from when you pass it over from here and you're going to have that awareness that you don't need to be recycled and brought back down here again that's probably something for another video so i'll stick to the i'll stick to the uh the plan here and just go through um some of the the, the symptoms or experiences that you can go through and they do uh, produce extremely profound this is a transformation that you're going through this is a transformation of um consciousness so energy is said to accumulate in the muldahara and um your attempt or what happens is you need to raise it up to the crown of your head transforming your entire life transforming the way you feel what you believe and who you really are and why you're actually really here as well and um, what your mission is, what your uh, point in life is, is, is being here. Um, so I can describe some of the, uh, some of these unfortunately are unwanted side effects which happen when chakras open. Um, and sometimes it, it, instead of pointing to a free flow of energy, it's pointing to a blockage, a problem. Um, but as you work through it, it will open and you will go through it and move on to the next um, chakra. So each is a symptom of a problem associated with the awakening uh, or the Kundalini um, syndrome, <laughs> some, as somebody, uh, as some people like to call it. So first of all, you can have um, involuntary jerks tremors within the body, shaking, itching of skin, tingling, crawling sensation, feeling like insects are crawling on your head or just underneath um, your skin. This is the energy within you awakening and moving through you. Um, you can have this especially in the arms or the legs. Um, 
and it can be extremely uncomfortable it feels like you've got fleas on you it feels like you've got some sort of little parasite crawling around um but this is the energy as it moves up through your body and it's actually nothing um to worry about it just doesn't feel very nice at the time especially if you get them on the crown of your head you feel like you've got nits and you want to scratch all the time this is your crown chakra this is your pineal gland actually opening um the kundalini working through it and if it hits a block it's going to give you those sensations uh, within your body as well but if you start to meditate if you start to ground yourself um if you start to follow your intuition you will break through that block um and open it fully um and again it, it, things can go back to sleep again but this is why we we continually stay in that spiritual uh center point in that balance to keep things now that i've said itching my head is itching that's probably psychosomatic <laughs> so you can also have energy rushes or feelings of electricity circulating um in your body um you can have moments of touching a car door or touching a light or touching something and actually getting a physical electric jolt from it as well this is electrical energy working through you when you are going through a full awakening quite a fast one especially when you're going through a traumatic time and you don't understand what's going on you can become a slider which means you have an effect on electrical um electrical appliances around you you can set street lights off you can put out the electrics in your car you can blow light bulbs um electrical appliances i went through a time where i just couldn't go through i couldn't go near the washing machine it kept breaking down i kept breaking the electrics in my car because the electric within your heart within your nerve endings within your body is so strong it's it's coming out it's having an effect on the outside world as well um what else can you have you can have intense heat like if you're a woman it would probably feel as if you're going through the menopause or something like that but you're not especially you know if you're in your 20s or something and you're having this sudden heat swell within you it's certainly not that um you can have this sudden you can start sweating for no reason whatsoever it can be quite cold outside it doesn't mean you're coming down with flu or a cold or an infection um because nothing develops from that it's just a feeling of intense heat um or it can go the other way and you can get a very very cold chill running through you as well um and this is especially as energy is experienced and passing through the chakras within your body um and again, it's nothing to worry about. It's just one of the symptoms. Um, it's spontaneous uh, prana, breath of life um, coming through you. You can also, during this process, um, have spontaneous mudras. Mudras are is the Indian word or the Hindi word for um, hand gestures and um, body yoga gestures and you can literally spontaneously do these without realizing what you are doing um you can be stood talking to somebody and be stood here like this uh without realizing it um or like this or and you just naturally move into these sort of yoga uh, mudra positions i did it a few times as i was waking up um you also feel like you want to stretch you want to bend back you want to get into a yoga position you want to move your body um around and what you're doing is you're helping the uh snake at the bottom of your back move up um and progress along your spine but it makes you want to um or puts you into um bodily positions <laughs> that you wouldn't normally get into often very um not consciously you don't realize that you're actually doing it it's very spontaneous um as well as i say i did that a few times during my awakening where i'd be stood talking to someone i'd be like we stood here like this in a, in a particular mundrous position or i'd stand on one leg um with the the 
the sole of my right foot leaning against the inside of my left knee um, which is a perfect yoga position but I didn't realize I was actually doing it until somebody pointed it out to me I was like oh my god <laughs> why am I doing that again it's the energy of the snake um, that is running through you um, you can have visions uh, not hallucinations their 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 visions or their sounds at times that are associated with a particular chakra if i went through a time and i remember seeing yellow cars everywhere yellow 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 everywhere i looked a yellow car was passing me by um and the synchronicity of that was that um the snake the kundalini was working through my yellow chakra um through my solar plexus and working through it and opening it and working through any blockages that i had there and this will come out in all different ways for you you can see different colors blocks of different colors you can hear sounds that you realize are associated with the colors um and it's just all indications of where the um snake is up to within your body and which chakra it's going through if you are down in your root chakra um, you could have particularly um, extreme sexual desire um, where you are overtly you suddenly feel like a teenager going through puberty again and it's it's working what, what's happening is you're working through any sexual problems that you have whether those sexual problems have evolved from abuse when you were a child or um, abuse in adult relationships as well. Um, you, you, you literally are going through a second puberty. So occasionally as you're going through this, you are suddenly, if you think of how you were as you went through puberty as a child and the sexual confusion you had and the sexual desires that you didn't know what to do with and you didn't, all of that, um, can come up as that chakra is opening up you have this extreme sexual desire as you work through those problems um, and you can go into you can even have whole body orgasms as well without actually even doing anything um, that has happened and that can happen for some some people this also brings out emotional upheaval this surfaces um, unwanted or repressed feelings about sexuality, about your sexuality, about your feelings, about how you think about love, um, certain thoughts that you have, anything that's been repressed uh, within the root chakra, within those emotions, it becomes dominant in the conscious mind um, for either a short period of time or a long period of time that you have to work through. Um, once you have actually gone through that and your chakras are awake, you can then actually go completely the other way um, and realize that your root chakra does not rule you and you do not need, um, you, you become aware of how sacred and what a gift um, sex is or sexual relations with somebody else um, and it can come to the point where you become celibate and you don't have that desire because you're not working through your root chakra it does not rule you like it rules most people anymore and you also become monk like or nun like where you just don't have those feelings which is which is a really good thing as well because it's not ruling you you're not thinking about it another symptom that you can have is headaches or migraines um, Every time my crown chakra or my pineal gland starts to crack open a little bit more or there's a download of information, I can get a very bad migraine. It may not necessarily be a migraine or a headache. Sometimes it can just feel like pressure um, across here within your skull. It can feel like your skull is in a vice. It's being pressed. It's being crushed. Um, sometimes this is due to increased blood pressure. Uh, this is, um, but it's as things are, are awakening within you, as your thousand petaled lotus on the top of your head is uh, connecting up to divine, up to your creator. You can, again, there is increased blood pressure. You can suffer from that. Personally, I have very low blood pressure. Um, 
you can have an irregular heartbeat. So don't panic, don't get upset if you have an irregular heartbeat. I have been lying down very calm, very still, and suddenly your heart starts to flutter. It goes, da -da 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 -da. And you can feel it wanting to sort of break out of your, your chest. It's 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 there and it's 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 awful, <laughs> but it's not actually your heart, it's your heart chakra and it making you feel like you've got this irregular heartbeat as it as it flutters um something else not to be worried if you're extremely worried go to the doctor but on most counts because i've heard of people who think they're having a heart attack or something and they will go to the doctor and find that they can't find anything there is nothing wrong but if you are worried never you know when you feel that you need to go then please go please please go um, you can find sometimes that you have an emotional numbness, a detachment from things where you feel like you're in a void where nothing is getting you emotional, nothing is making you in, uh, cry, everything, you was just this complete detachment from everybody and everything from your own emotions, everyone around you and being numb from things. Sometimes you can feel very antisocial, where you want to go within yourself like the hermit, where you want to sit in your own bedroom or you just want to go out into nature. You don't want to mix with other people. You don't want... And usually when this is happening, it's because you're becoming aware of how different you are from them. What that There is something different about you that is happening within you on a subconscious level and you're there's this feeling of you you're not gelling with people anymore you're not wanting you've not got the same ideas as them you don't have the same things in common as them you don't understand their beliefs anymore they don't understand yours and you feel like you want to go inwards um a little bit you can have mood swings <laughs> they're all joyful aren't they <laughs> sometimes you can have mood swings uh with with long periods or short periods of depression um or even sort of manic behavior going on uh where sometimes you you, you can wake up one day and feel extremely down extremely depressed not want to do anything um you don't know where that feeling has come from you don't know what has set it off. It's just there. And then the next day or even we with even within the, the same day, a few hours later, you can go from that to a woo and go upwards um, and be suddenly running around full of energy, wanting to do everything, get everything done, get your jobs completed. And you can go. And again, this is energy. This is prana working through you. Um you can get aches and pains in different areas of your body. You can feel like you've pulled a muscle, especially in the back or the neck, which is which is very sensitive, obviously, to the snake rising. And again, there is no physical. You can feel it physical. It's a real pain. Um, but the, the doctor wouldn't be able to find anything physical with you. You can get very sensitive sometimes. Another uh, way of... of recognizing that you may be going through a kundalini awakening you get very very sensitive to to the light you have some bright lights you don't like bright lights you can't stand them you could you come to um hate fluorescent light bulbs and those big ones that they have in the store it can really um seem very extremely bright for you uh, you want to close your eyes to it you don't want to know <clears throat> you can become very um sensitive to sound so if somebody's playing a TV or music very loudly, you don't like it, it's not resonating with you, it sounds um, loud, blarish, too much, you want to be more in silence. Um, also your sensitivity can pick up if somebody touches you, it feels like all your nerve endings are on fire as well. What else? You can feel um, like you're in a, in a trance-like state sometimes. Sometimes you feel like you're going in and out of consciousness. You can feel a little bit faint sometimes. Um, drink water and sit down and ground yourself if this is happening. Um, you can feel just that dreamy sense where you just can't quite get, get a, ri a grip on the 3D reality of, of what's going on. What's happening here is you're moving 
in between states. You're moving between 3D and 5D. And as you move out and in of these dimensions, it gives you that feeling of dizziness and it gives you that feeling of just not being quite here. And it's quite a natural thing to feel as you go through. Um, so again, don't panic just when it happens. Just sip a little bit of water, try and relax, sit down, get grounded, take, uh, take some time for yourself to nurture yourself. Um, stick your head between your knees if you need to but it's it's the it's the vibration of going from one to another because we're not quite into 5d permanently um otherwise we'd be just in one whole long synchronicity we would know that we were there we have to we have to work between the two at the moment we have to keep one foot in the 3d um reality which is an illusion but in this in the 3d world to be able to function because we're still in a physical body as well so you can have that you can have disrupted uh sleep patterns where you can go for days where you have an amazingly brilliant sleep sleep all night and then wake up in the morning and feel like you've had no sleep whatsoever and you're tired you're sluggish and you just want to go back to sleep but you know that you've slept all night this is because you are working hard on the other side your higher consciousness um you are working with your guides and angels and you are doing your job on the other side while your conscious body is is uh, is asleep your subconscious is working this is the reason why you can feel up wake up and and feel so tired um because it's only your physical body that has been asleep and it's been interrupted by the fact that your subconscious is working um on a, on a higher level there so you can have this feeling you can also go the other way as well where you are not sleeping properly where you're waking up constantly during the night or you wake up every morning at 3.33 or 3.30 in the morning um, this again is because your higher self your subconscious your spirit is working hard on the other side and that's interfering with you trying to get sleep during the night and this is why we will wake up there so you can go from one extreme to the other extreme and usual you usually you will have uh, periods of both you can have um loss of appetite where you absolutely don't feel like eating anything you become aware of what processed foods are how much is really processed foods around you you can turn to what you will turn to organic foods uh, you'll feel like you just want to juice all the time. Um, you you will feel like you are you're becoming really really conscious of what you want to put into your body and what you want to eat. And sometimes the thought of eating normal food makes you feel sick. And you will go through periods where you hardly want to eat anything at all. Um, or you can go the opposite way. And you can go intermittent. I go intermittently between the two. Uh, where I'll have a loss of appetite and then other times I'll I'll eat like crazy um, the good stuff of course but if you if you go the opposite way and you're you're overeating it's almost like um, you are trying to comfort there's either something blocking you and you are comfort eating or this is a sport of like a form of spiritual protection by putting extra layers of fat on yourself to spiritually protect yourself which isn't true and you don't need to do that um but subconsciously that's what's actually happening to you and that's what you're doing and that's why you would be overeating and you will go through periods of both here um and once you become aware of the problem of either overeating or under eating not eating it enough you it's getting that balance between um the two things you can have periods where you go through this unconditional love bliss where you want to hug a tree you want to kiss the lampshade you want to be at one with 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 a spatula you want to you just love everything it's that feeling of being totally connected to the universe and it's the most whole Whole, I can't even explain how beautiful that feeling of bliss and that infinite love and feeling of being at one with the creator is and you don't get that feeling all the time but when you do go through that feeling 
it's amazing and it's also all, almost incapacitating you can't do anything else apart just from just fill up with with love for the universe for everything um it transcends everything and it's such a beautiful beautiful feeling so those are some just a small amount uh overall of um kundalini um I can't remember the word, uh, kundalini symptoms um, that you can get, that you can go through as you go through this process. And I will go through each chakra again separately um, and come through with the symptoms for each um, separate chakra. But I hope uh, just that this helps a little bit. This, this brings you um, into a more understanding of what's going on with you and what's happening to you and why this is happening to you. Um, so... Namaste. Uh, I love you loads and I will speak to you soon. If you need anything from me, um, please get hold of me. Info at huskylight.com for healings, clearings, readings, relationship readings, organize anything. Um, going through this awakening process, help and spiritual support. Okay, bye bye.